Hi, I'm Jerry Pinckney, and I'm in my new studio space uh, where I created uh, my new book, The Aesop's Fable, which is, I think, one of the uh, best known Aesop's Fable, The Lion and the Mouse, a, a wordless picture book. The Lion and the Mouse has always been one of my favorites of, of the fables, and one of the things that's most challenging for me as an artist is to take a, a well-known story a favorite uh, like the lion and the mouse and find a new way of looking at that particular story. The setting for the lion and the mouse is the vast um, African Serengeti and I think um, one of the things that was so compelling about setting this particular story there was the uh, the ability to add a whole new uh, cast of characters. We have the central characters of the lion and the mouse but we have all those wonderful and, and um, amazing animals of the Serengeti. The concept of doing a word to picture book didn't start out being I, that I would just do a word to picture book. It really, uh, in the beginning stages, I thought that I would do thumbnail sketches. Uh, after all, the story's in my head, so the script is in my head, and then I would add the text later to fit with the illustrations. Once I completed those, that the sketches, I realized that I had actually told the story. I had told the story with pictures. The idea of sound interests me uh, because I'm surrounded by sounds in nature and so it played a role in it. But it sort of happened organically. It was a matter of um, starting with one building block and then putting another one on that one and building and building until I got to the point that I realized that what I had was something very new for me. My first wordless picture book. The cover for The Lion and the Mouse, and I think we uh, have to talk about the cover and back cover because they, they each hold equal weight. Uh, the front cover being that portrait of the lion uh, looking to its left, and we flip the book over or we open it out and we find the mouse. Uh, I think mouse in proportion, um, much, much larger than it would be realistically, but at the same time bring a certain balance because this book is about uh, two creatures that are very large at heart. I think one of the things that I, I found very compelling about this story um, and is how it affects um, uh, the reader and, and I think that um, in so many times with the life being as complicated as it is now that that it comes down to something very very simple and that that simplicity drives the story it's about it's about family and it's about helping others <laughs>